Hippity hoppity, happy Easter. This is your girl Cindy with Decor More. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Today's video is all about the Easter tablescape. This is part three of the Easter decorations. By now, you've seen the Easter floral arrangement and you've seen the candy table. So, today is all about how I set my table for Easter. So, to get today, guys, I want to say if you take a minute out of this day and just give God a little praise for waking you up today to see another beautiful gorgeous day and let's just all be thankful for what we have because life could be so much more difficult than what it is there are a lot of people in this world who are less fortunate than most of us so let's just give a, a praise and a thank you to God just for given us all of our blessings and given us grace and mercy on this wonderful, beautiful day. So you guys, you've uh, seen by now, you've seen the floral, Easter floral design, and you've seen the candy table. And today is all about how I style my Easter tablescape. So the first thing I want to say, you guys, is that I started this out with not wanting to purchase any new items for my table. My goal was to use everything that I've already had and, um, you know, just things that, that I've, I've used before uh, during my Thanksgiving and my Christmas tablescape. And I was just, you know, I have just decided that I was not going to spend a dime on any decor well my mind changed very quickly and let me tell you why once I did the floral arrangement and once I did the candy table I just could not keep these same dishes that I had already presented to you guys for Thanksgiving and Christmas and it seems that these dishes are way too formal for what I had in mind and once I found this table runner at the at home store I realized that I did not want to use formal plates i did not want to have the gold trim white plates with the gold trim around them i thought they were a little too formal i thought the napkin um was too formal because they're the same napkins i use for christmas so you know i was in the midst of setting this entire table before it dawned on me cindy no we're not gonna do this right we are going to go back out to Kirkland store and pick up those things that you saw before. But before I went out to the Kirkland store, what I wanted to do was go ahead and preset this table. Now that I know that I'm definitely going to use this runner, what I decided to use is to use this basket that I've had for a few years now. You may have seen it in some of my fall decor and um, things like that. But what I decided to do was to build this basket. What I've started to do is just to layer the bottom of the basket with some of this brown trimmy and that's gonna feel as like a bird and nest and then I'm gonna take these moss green moss balls which are um, the same as the green moss rabbits that I have on the candy um, table display and so I'm gonna take those and I'm just gonna place them along around this basket and it's gonna already give um, an illusion of uh, some sort of a nest and that's what I'm actually going for so the next thing I'm going to do is place some more items, um, different color eggs and things like that um, inside of the basket just to build on it. The next thing I'm going to do is add these hurricane vases um, that I got from the Ashley store. And I never um, did my um, haul video, which would have, um, you know, uh, portrayed these um, these big beautiful vases that I got from the Ashley store so I'm just going to place them on either side of the table and I'm going to use this basket 
um, bird's nest as a centerpiece. So while I'm doing that, um, now that I've placed both vases on both sides of this this um, basket or bird's nest, I'm going to continue to build by adding different elements into this basket just to give it a full look and add a little bit more color um, to the table itself. that I've added color to this basket I wanted to show you guys the items that I got from Kirkland's so these beautiful chargers I just want to show you them compared to my dining table the wood matches up perfectly to me and it resembles the table which is one of the reason why I chose these I love that embroidered um, edging that's on on the um, end of them it just gives them a little bit more or, uh pizzazz for it to be wood also these brown chargers i got from the michael store wet um those they actually um um resembles the vase that are on the table so that is one reason why i decided to use those but i've decided against those and so those would be returned to the store but i'm now just showing you all the items that i got from the kirkland store these beautiful gorgeous plates hippity hoppity these other uh, beige and white um, plates that i thought will give a nice contrast to the white plate um, underneath and these were actually on clearance the beige and white White plates and then these beautiful napkins I think that you know will give a uh, different uh, in pattern to the table so I decided to get some stripy um, napkins to uh, put on the table and then last but not least this um, towel pack of two um, that I think that green is just adorable so um, it matches the plates as well so I also want to remind you guys of the bunny ears um, napkin holders that I got and so I decided to add these small um, the um, napkin holders with the eggs and I'm going to put those at both ends of the table and that as well is just going to add a little bit more color to the table also you guys i wanted to tell you i have this family sign that i got from um, the michael store along with uh some of these uh, tulip candy sticks that i got from um the big lot store and they were only a dollar so now I'm going to go ahead and play with this and I'm going to go ahead and start building my plate setting. And I believe what um, I'm going to do is see if this um, brown um, charger that I got from Michaels, if it matches in with everything, um, the light wood and the dark wood and then the white, all of it is a contrasting color. And I just wanted to make this table fun and festive, um, not too serious, which is why I wanted to take away the um, white and gold uh, plates that we had here before because it was just too formal, you guys. It was just too formal for me and for everything to blend in and go along with the candy table and the floral arrangement behind I, I just think that I had to do something different and bring this table alive and make it fun as well so this is probably one of the place settings that I'm going to use um, I'm not sure but I'm gonna switch it up a bit and see if which, which one my eyes will actually go towards? Um, 
but right now I'm just um undecided right now if I want to put the um napkin on the table or if I want you know um the spoons and forks there or um I I'm just not sure so you guys just bear with me as I figure all of this out Okay, so I thought I was done, but then my brain, I had to brainstorm again, and I've decided to add just one more other detail to this plate setting. I decided to take the see-through um, clear charger with the gold trim out uh, from under the plates. I'm not going to use that because, again, it's a little bit too formal, although I do like that little peak of gold peeking from underneath um, the plate um, along with the um, wooden charger underneath. What I decided to do, you guys, was to add these branches to the table because I just think that it's going to give a little bit more color and it's going to make it a little bit more festive. So I've decided to take these um, these little green little wreaths that I actually purchased to put on the back of the chairs. But because I decided against it, I'm going to use them as um, the plate setting and I'm going to add them underneath the um you know the um salad plate and then that way the pops of the green and the leaves can pop out underneath these um these plates and then i'm adding these bunny ears to the uh tan and well the green and white napkins that I thought you know go blend in well with the place and after that I'm just adding a simple egg you guys and I'm playing around with these chocolate covered tulips because they're they are edible so whoever comes through if they want to take one of these edible tulips it would be fine because they're here for decoration only and so um you know th it'll be a nice little treat for some of the guests or someone who comes to the home on Easter if they wanted to take these that they could um, so this is it you guys this is the actual plate setting this is what I like I'm gonna go ahead and change the um, fork and um, knife onto well the spoon and knife onto the right side of this plate setting and I'm gonna leave the fork to the left because that is the proper way to do things although I do like all three over here to the left but because you know there are a lot of people that are formal then you know I just want to do what's right so for the sake of formality and um, you know proper uh, table etiquette I am going to place these forks um, this fork on the left and the spoon and the knife on the right so you guys I think this is pretty much it I think I've um, done what I set out to do I'm looking at the table and I think everything is good and uh, I'm gonna finish setting this entire table now um for a table of six i'm gonna go ahead and place all of these items in um each of the six area and you know just to go ahead and build this table so that you guys can see that um it came out very very well and so i am um, adding mr and mrs bunny rabbit to this video as well now i've had these bunny rabbits for a few years now they've been everywhere they've been on the front porch during um easter they've been um you know in the family room now they are making their way here right outside the dining room by the front double doors and the reason that I put them there because I want them to be able to greet guests as they come into the home and then as they look to the right they will see this beautiful display um, table display that I have uh, put together with all these 
beautiful, gorgeous little colors like this Easter egg, uh, pink Easter egg with all the gold little um, flakes of color in it. I just think all of these things just add a um, different element to this table. Um, there's no rhyme or reason how to put a, an Easter tablescape together. You know, you can add what you want, take away what you want. I have all sorts of um, eggs here, different colors, different shapes. And then I have these two big hurricane vases here that I got from the Ashley Home Store. And then I gave a little prelude to spring by um, adding these moth balls and this this bird's nest that I call it and then I put a big carrot laying over there to just remind us that it is Easter and then all of these wonderful beautiful Easter eggs you guys that are included in this um, basket and in, in this um this Easter basket on the table, display on the table. So you guys, this is pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to say thank you all for being patient with me and thank you for watching. I know that this video is a little lengthy and I have done a lot of talking in this video, but you guys, I like to explain things that are happening, what you are seeing um, in the videos. And sometimes, you know, I know a lot of people like to just play music and let you watch, but I really like talking to you guys. And I am so thankful and blessed that you guys are here watching this channel and you are family. So thank you so much again for watching and being a part of our YouTube family. And remember, share this um, video with your friends and family for Easter and, um, you know, share the channel, you guys, so that we can continue to grow and look over to the right. If you are a new, um, new person here, this is your first time seeing any of my videos. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you would please look over to the right and hit that subscribe button, we would be happy to have you a part of the family. So you guys, happy Easter. Hippity hoppity. This is your girl. Cindy signing out. I will see you guys in the next video.